There are many different ways to exchange information between layers in a composition in After Effects. And in this tutorial, we're going to focus on how to exchange transparency data between the layers. The easiest way to understand this is to actually explore channels. So let's go to the bottom of the composition panel and click on this red, green, and blue button right here. This is the channel dropdown menu, and it gives you the ability to look at each individual channel that's required to create the image that we're looking at right now. The default setting shows you all three channels, the red channel, the green channel, and the blue channel, all mixed together to create our image. But there's actually a fourth channel. This is called the alpha channel, and it determines transparency of an image. Let's go down and enable the alpha channel. Now we'll see a representation of transparency in black and white. Whatever's 100% white is 100% opaque. Anything that's 100% black is 100% transparent. Let's go ahead and select layer six in the timeline and press T to open its opacity settings. Let's change the opacity down to a setting of 50. And now you can see we have 50% gray pixels. Now let's work on building our project. Go back to the channel dropdown and make sure RGB is enabled. Let's also click on the background layer in the composition panel and drag it over to the left, making sure to cover the entire background, left to right, top to bottom. Go back down to the opacity settings for layer six and bring the opacity up to 100%. Now let's create some animation. In the timeline, enable the visibility for layer five. Then press the space bar on your keyboard to play back. And you see, I've already got large type animated from the left to the right. I'll press the space bar to stop playback anywhere in the middle of the timeline, just as long as I can see these letters in my composition panel. I want to fill these letters with the background and have the background be transparent. To do that, I need to make sure that I toggle my switches and modes and I'm actually in the mode area. Instead of focusing on the modes, let's go to the right side of this section. Go down to layer six and click on the drop down where it says none. We have four different options for exchanging transparency data between the layer above layer six and layer six itself. So let's choose alpha mat Lanika's two. Now press the space bar to begin playback and you can see we've successfully filled our type with the background layer. I'll press the space bar to stop playback one more time. Again, making sure my current time indicator is positioned anywhere where I can see these background layers. Even though alpha channel data is being transmitted between both layers five and six, they're still independent layers. So if I wanna blur the background a little bit, I can just select layer six and then go up under the effect menu, blur and sharpen, and choose fast box blur. In the effect controls panel, just click and drag on the blur radius to increase the blur. And I'll set mine to a rather modest seven. Now we can press the space bar one more time and you can see our animation. We've successfully pulled the transparency data from layer five and applied it to layer six using a track mat. So images are made up of a red, a green, and a blue channel. And those channels blend together to create the image that you're looking at but there's also a fourth channel, the alpha channel, that determines the transparency. So when you create something like text in After Effects, the alpha channel is automatically created for that layer. So text is always ready to use as a source for an alpha mat. 